everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Raven Maureen and today I am going to be talking to you about the Deer and Doe book called Dressed. So let's get into it. Um, I think I got this book maybe sometime last year. It, I remember it was like either we were still in lockdown or maybe we were coming out of lockdown and I don't think I was quite ready to like receive the goodness of this book but now I'm ready to get into it and as a matter of fact I've made my first um, pattern from this book and one thing I do want to share is that I actually own a couple of pattern books and this one already is by far my favorite for a number of reasons um, the first reason for me is that it is designed and written in order for you to succeed now before I move forward I do want to say I'm not being paid by Deer and Doe um, to do this um, this review um, no one has asked me to do this review this is strictly from my brain and from my heart so um, again it is designed for you to succeed and those are my words um, and the reason I say that is because again I've I have owned several other sewing books that I feel like can be clunky cumbersome um, and may even kind of be more for like aesthetics and not necessarily for someone who is new to sewing or even wants to um, have like a capsule wardrobe but this book actually does all that for you so it's quite a bit of information that I've written down and so I do have some notes here so I'm gonna look away for a second so again going back to last year we were in lockdown I was like capsule who capsule what I am just trying to make sure I fit into my leggings next week so again wasn't in the mood to look at this book but I do recall thumbing through well I don't want to say thumbing through it's a PDF book I recall scrolling through and thinking like wow like these worksheets um, that they have in here in order for you to um, categorize your wardrobe are actually pretty dope um, so I'm gonna get into that their first section is called their method and so it really analyzes your lifestyle it asks you know what are the places that you frequent um, what are what do they call it they ask you know what are your likely outing situations is it work is it brunch is it a soccer game and when you ask yourself those questions and you write them down and then you write down how frequently you're doing those things that's how you're able to get your wardrobe and it's actually really really cool how they break it down worksheet after after worksheet so a couple of other things that it really really focuses on it focuses on a coherent wardrobe it, I think it asks really good questions it asks you what season are you looking to do all of this in which is like okay hello a really important question <laughs> and then it asks you you know personal constraints like does it have to be um, a, um, something that is dry clean only only excuse me does it have to be something where you just want to put in the laundry um, it even asks you you know what are some dress code constraints that you have um, it goes into creating a mood board um, and I, I know we all know about digital mood boards with Pinterest and whatnot but it works okay um, and then it gets into textures it gets into patterns like you know prints that you like the most um, for me y'all know that would already be leopard print hello I have leopard print buttons today that's dedication moving on <laughs> so Aside from that, aside from the worksheets, it even goes into color theory. Oh my gosh, color theory. Next thing it does, it goes into body measurements. And no, we're not just talking about like sewing body measurements. It's like, you know, do you have more angles or do you have more curves? You know, what is this measurement? What is that measurement? What are some observations that you notice about your body? The other thing, again, like I said earlier, it's PDFs. Not only did I receive the booklet, um, which is the ebook, but I also received PDF tile versions and copy shop versions and um, printing instructions. So I got a full kit. You know what I mean? They also talk about fabric and how to buy it online versus in store. And they talk about components of fabric that you may use. Getting into the pattern. So this top that I made they um have very much simplified like their um their patterns like they don't have like oh this is the annabelle top this is the tracy top none of that i made the button-up blouse and that is the name of it <laughs> 
and I'm not like ashamed of it I'm just like okay like it's called the button-up blouse so I made the button-up blouse and it was very simple it was um, you know short sleeve you can make it three-quarter sleeve I put four buttons on mine I think it calls for five um, but it's a simple enough pattern that you can hack I mean to be honest with you I could have made bishop sleeves out of this I could have turned this into a full-on dress there's no darts there's you know it's very simple and the other thing about the PDF tiles this might have been maybe 20 tiles so they're not overly dramatic with their tiles either which I kind of like but I made this in about one evening and if you know me yes I am a fast sewer but this was also a very easy pattern so a lot of their patterns are very easy but at the same time they are meant to be expounded upon they are meant to be hacked they are meant to be um, layered up and thrown into or used with um, other items in your closet and other things that you've made so they I see their vision in not wanting to make this an overly complicated event if you will so what I love about this book because again I've seen other pattern books that I really feel like they really lay it on thick with like photography and with like illustrations and things like that with this book I feel like they kept it to very simplified instructions very very clear technical diagrams and illustrations of what you are to do next and I feel like it's very very beginner friendly um, you know sometimes f like real human photographs don't work for me when I'm trying to actually make a garment because I'm not sure sometimes when I'm looking at a photograph is that the wrong side or the right side you know what I mean so I like seeing those shadows I like seeing the, the black and the white contrast I like knowing what part is interfacing those actually helped me out and it honestly made the um, made the experience go by a lot quicker with sewing this together all in all I think this is a great book and if you don't have the opportunity or if you haven't had the opportunity yet to buy this book I extremely recommend it not again for you know I'm not getting anything from this I'm just kind of letting you guys know this is kind of a book that um, not I don't think a lot of people really know about or talk about but on the low it kind of hits y'all like kind of a good book I really like that the worksheets um, are kind of they are with the book but you can use them outside of the book which is really good because again um, you can take all of that information and possibly buy your best wardrobe or you can you know add other patterns that you have in your collection and mix it with those and you've got you know the best of both worlds so anyway I hope you guys um, have an opportunity to look at this book again it's called Deer and Doe Dressed Ebook I am going to put the link down there um, again not being paid for any of this just from one sewer to the next I think it's a really good book anyway you guys I hope that if you like this video you like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys later bye